that govern the that is used to uh, operate the hardware of the computer okay it is a set of programs that are used to uh, govern the operations or that are used to make the hardware work hardware is just a machinery computer is just a machinery that is a collection of various parts which are joined together but how to make that hardware work how to uh, uh, give instructions to the various parts of the hardware to work that is done by the help of software. So software represents a set of programs that govern the operations of a computer system and makes the hardware run. It tells a computer what to do, how to do. Uh, actually, user tells a computer, yes, this thing I want to do. Okay, but how to do that thing that is governed by, that is decided by the uh, software. It comprises an entire set of programs, procedures, and routines associated with the operations of a computer system. So basically, we are having two types of broad categories of software. They are system software and application software. What do you mean by system software? What do you mean by system software? OS. OS to hai. Operating system is one example of system software. What is system software, Kavanur? Yes, Kavanur, what do you mean by system software? Yes, anyone else? Renuka, Aryan, what do you mean by system software? Nobody is able to give answer. At least unmute yourself and give say that we do not know the answer. At least be attentive in the class. At least any presence of Mark Karwao that you are present there. Why you are just uh, logged in and just uh, switch off your camera and just leave the computer or device? Yes, we are attending the class. But there is no one there to give answer at least. Yes, Kavanur, I'm going to remove all of you if you are not giving answer. Only those students will stay who will give answer in the class. Yes, Aryan. Renuka, Daljeet, what do you mean by system software? Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Yes, what do you mean by system software? Ma'am, system software is the software that helps the system to do various uh, operations. Okay, that helps the system These are to do various software. operations. Okay, yes, Jocelyn. System software is a program which performs computations and it uses the hardware. Yes, anyone else? What do you mean by system software? Yes, Aryan, are you there? Okay, that means I should remove the students who are not giving answer. If you are not giving answer, I'm seriously going to remove them. Yes, Kavanu. Ma'am, system software. Yes, what's your bolo dhiren? Ma'am, it refers to the programs that control the internal computer and the internal hardware. Internal operations of the computer. That is a required program. That is the required program for your computer without which the computers will not work. The system software is a program that will make your hardware work. Other application programs will work only if there is a system software in your computer and if it is working properly. A system software is a that type of program which will make your hardware work, which will take the input from the input devices, understand its meaning, translate it into the uh, language that the computer understands, then uh, send it to the various parts of a uh, uh, processing devices and then after the processed data takes the output and send it to the output devices. All this is done by the system software. And one example of system software that do all these parts are operating system. We are having three types of system software. One is operating system, language processor and utilities. So operating system is a, a software, is a type of system software that act as an interface between the user and the hardware. What the instructions are given by the user to the hardware? 
जो भी इंस्ट्रक्शन यूजर देगा हार्डवेयर को कुछ भी काम करने के लिए दो इंस्ट्रक्शन आर अंडरस्टूड बाय द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम दो इंस्ट्रक्शन आर कैरिड आउट बाय द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इट रिक्वेस्ट इज पास टू द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इन टर्न डिसाइड हाउ टू डू वेन टू डू एंड टू परफॉर्म द वेरियस टास्क ठीक है ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम मेक्स द कंप्यूटर यूजर फ्रेंडली यूजर ने सिर्फ इंस्ट्रक्शन देनी है and whatever the instruction is given by the user that is carried out by the operating system carried out by the operating system from the hardware it will decide ki kaise kaam karna hai kya instruction aa gayi hai yes how to do it when to do it okay then it enables a efficient use of hardware various examples of operating system jo hum daily use karte hain they are windows Android, Linux, Unix, DOS, BOS, iOS, okay, and Mac OS. All these are the various examples of operating system. And most most used operating system, कौन सा है? ज़्यादा तो तो हम Windows भी use कर रहे हैं, Android भी use कर रहे हैं. Nowadays Apple के भी use हो रहे हैं. ठीक है तो iOS and Mac OS, all these are using. Okay. so major components of computer system based on this definition or based on this use the major components of operating system uh, computer system are hardware operating system that makes the hardware work application programs the other program that we work on a computer and human ware that is the user which will give instructions to the computer so the hardware provides the basic computing resources application program defines the way in which the resources are to be utilized and operating system controls and coordinates the use of hardware among the various application program that means agar bahut sare application programs at a time run ho rahe hain operating system will decide and coordinate the usage of various hardware resources among the various applications multiple applications are working at a time operating system will divide the software divide the resources among the various applications ha chahe wo memory ka resource hai chahe wo computing ka resource hai chahe wo processing ka resource hai whatever resources application softwares are using all those resources are controlled and coordinated by the operating system so second type of system software is language processor what do you mean by language processor we had already done this topics What do you mean by language processor, Pranay? Okay, yes, Akhilesh. Ma'am, a program oh. that uh, perform tasks like uh, interpreting. Interpreting, Akhilesh. What do you want to add? Translators. Translators. Language processors are translators. Correct. Translate. What translate? Do they do? Language processor. What do they translate? Mem machine or binary language into the language we understand. In machine and binary language, whatever instructions we are given, a uh, user is giving to the computer, they are given in high level languages because they are easy to learn for the user. But computer understands only the binary language or the uh, binary digits. So the work of the language processor is to convert the high level language instructions convert the high level language programs into binary language so that the computer understands it operating system it is a work of a part of a system software because it will make your computer work so a computer understands only machine language therefore a software is required which should convert the high level language program into machine language so that the computer can understand it अंडरस्टैंड करेगा तभी एग्जीक्यूट कर पाएगा सच अ सॉफ्टवेयर इज कॉल्ड लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसर सो थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसर्स आर देयर व्हाट आर दोस थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसर्स असेंबलर कंपाइलर इंटरप्रेटर असेंबलर कंपाइलर एंड इंटरप्रेटर व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय असेंबलर लक्ष्य जयरथ व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसर और सॉरी असेंबलर Okay, Laksh Jara, are you there? Laksh, do you mean my the assembler? Language processor that converts program written in assembly language into machine language. Okay, a program that converts the assembly language programs into 
machine language assembly language program was used previously after the machine language previously there was a time when the user use only user has to use only the machine language they have to give instruction they have to do the coding to the computer in the form of machine language only then after that they created an assembly language then to convert the assembly language into machine language we need the assembler that will convert that and for example gnu assembler but nowadays we are using high level languages so interpreter and compilers come into action what do you mean by compiler and interpreter compiler and interpreter both are the processors both are the language processors which will convert the high level language into machine language but what is the difference compiler will convert the whole program of the high level language into machine language in one go and it will report all the errors along with the line numbers if there is an error it will report the error yes this is an error you are supposed to correct it only then it will create the object code and it is more fast as compared to interpreter interpreter is a language processor that converts the program written in high level language into machine language line by line if there is an error in any line it reports the error at the same time agar third line mein error aa rahi hai it will report the error then you are supposed to correct that error jab tak wo error theek nahi ho jayegi it will not continue with the execution correct the error then it will start again the execution now in compiler there will be an object code generated and interpreter there is no object code generated object code means the program <coughs> which is converted into machine language which can be executed again jab dobara program ko execute karna to it can directly run the object code because it has been already been compiled interpreter will translate the program again and again whenever we run the program it will translate that program okay anji what are the three types of language processors name the three types of language processor assembler compiler interpreter okay. assembler right. compiler and interpreter what is the difference between compiler and interpreter what is the difference between compiler and interpreter yes compiler converts high level language into machine language in one go and okay. interpreter converts uh, high level language into machine language line by line line by line okay interpreters are slow theek hai compilers are fast they generate object code interpreter does not generate object code okay utilities utilities these are also the part of uh, operating system uh, these are also the part of system software these are the program that ensure the smooth functioning of a computer as they assist the computer by performing the various housekeeping functions like backup of data cleaning viruses or aapki jo hard disk ko aapko compile karna hai that means aap usko karte ho you arrange the data in the parts of various parts of hard disk so that the brief uh, jo disk clean up disk clean up type the jo tasks and all these are done and by the program defragmentation yes defragmentation so these are the program that ensure the smooth functioning of the computer as they assist the program as they assist the computer by performing the various housekeeping functions backup of data cleaning virus data ka backup lena hai virus ko remove karna hai so that the computer can perform a work easily can work properly defragmentation of data so that you can arrange the data in your hard disk and free up the free uh, memory space jo hai usko free kar sake usko utilize kar sake i told you previously in hard disk data is stored in the form of various tracks and sectors and randomly store hota hai theek hai but when we use a disk defragmentation what it will do <coughs> it will arrange the data properly so that the beech beech mein jagah khali bach rahi hai usko ek hi jagah pe ek hi site pe kar sake so that the new data can be stored there so so that it can find the new uh, space for the new data okay so various types of utility programs are used to organize and keep the track of uh, first is disk management software or file management software this is a first uh, that is a utility program that is your disk management or file management what does this do 
इट इज यूज टू ऑर्गेनाइज एंड कीप द ट्रैक ऑफ फाइल्स आपकी फाइल्स को सेव करना उनको कॉपी करना उनको डिलीट किया तो कहाँ करना है फोल्डर्स के अंदर अगर सब फोल्डर्स हैं तो उनको कैसे अरेंज करना है फ्री फॉर्म में स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड फाइल मैनेजर इट हेल्प्स टू मैनेज द फाइल्स एंड ग्रुप द फाइल्स इन टू वेरियस फोल्डर्स लाइक आपके पिक्चर्स जितनी भी सेव होगी बाई डिफॉल्ट पिक्चर फोल्डर में जा रही है डॉक्यूमेंट्स हम जितने भी क्रिएट कर रहे हैं बाई डिफॉल्ट दे आर गोइंग टू द डॉक्यूमेंट्स फोल्डर ठीक है वीडियोज आर स्टोरिंग इन टू दीडियोज फोल्डर म्यूजिक ऑडियो फाइल्स आर स्टोरिंग इन टू द म्यूजिक फोल्डर नो डाउट यू कैन क्रिएट योर ओन फोल्डर एंड ऑर्गेनाइज दम अकॉर्डिंगली बट वाई डिफॉल्ट सिस्टम ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इज प्रोवाइडिंग यू दूटिलिटी टू स्टोर द फाइल्स इन डिफरेंट फोल्डर्स so it helps you it keeps a hierarchical file system in order to organize the files into a tree like structure various programs window explorer jo by default aapko mil raha hai windows ke sath tree commander explorer plus plus pathfinder documentary uh, directory opus e file cabinet microsoft one drive all these are the various storage devices सॉरी ऑल दीज आर दरियस सॉफ्टवेयर वेरियस डिस्क मैनेजमेंट और फाइल मैनेजमेंट सॉफ्टवेयर दैट हेल्प यू टू मैनेज योर फाइल्स ऑन योर कंप्यूटर वेदर यू वॉन्ट टू कॉपी दैम वेदर यू वॉन्ट टू डिलीट दैम वेदर यू वॉन्ट टू री नेम दैम वेदर यू वॉन्ट टू मूव दैम फ्रॉम वन लोकेशन टू अनदर ऑल दीज टास्क आर डन बाय द डिस्क मैनेजमेंट सॉफ्टवेयर और फाइल मैनेजमेंट सॉफ्टवेयर सेकेंड इज एंटीवायरस सॉफ्टवेयर ऑल ऑफ यू नो वट डू यू मीन बाई एंटीवायरस सॉफ्टवेयर it will scan your hard disk or your storage area and remove the virus from the computer so that your computer can work smoothly if there is a virus you all of you well know what are the various uh, uh, disadvantages what are the various effects of if we are having a virus in our computer it will not work properly it will work slow it will shut down it will not allow you to save the file display can be uh, distorted whatever the thing whatever the virus is programmed to do that will do what do you mean by virus what is virus yes anyone what do you mean by virus nitish sumati what do you mean by virus ma'am it is a malicious software or malware it is a malicious software or a malware that it has the it is a like a program this is software a program hai virus is also a program it is that is instructed ha that instructs the computer to work in an unwanted way theek okay? hai so virus is also a program but that does the malicious task that does the task which are not wanted on our computer that are not supposed be good for our computer so antivirus programs are used to detect and remove the viruses from computer what are the various examples of antivirus softwares shivraj yes i am an antivirus shivraj what are the various examples of antivirus softwares mam windows defender windows defender that comes with the windows or k7 antivirus k7 McAfee, Casper Sky, Quick Heal, Not an Antivirus, Bit Defender, K7, AVG, AVG, Avira, Avast. Okay, so many antivirus softwares are available in the market. You can use them to make your computer safe and sound. Okay, next is your encryption and decryption software. Encryption means. encryption means web conversion of data into a form which is not readable ha uh -huh. conversion of data of the original data to into a coded form which cannot be read by the user or understood by the hackers or any unauthorized person only the authorized person will have the decryption key so that the data can be decrypted again into a readable form decryption means in, uh, changing the encrypted data into the original form and authorized persons will have only the decryption key so that it can be uh, <clears throat> changed into the encryption code encrypted code that is a cipher text into the original form cipher text is the coded form of the original message when the data is encrypted it is called cipher text cipher text is a term that refers to the coded form or altered form of the original data in order to safeguard the data from any unauthorized person when we send the data from one computer to another 
we can encrypt the data so that the in between hackers cannot hack them if hack them they will not be able to decrypt them they must have the decryption key to un, uh, convert the data into the original form okay <coughs> Decryption is the reverse process of encryption. That is the technique to convert the coded data back into the original form. Various examples of encryption and decryption software are LastPass, VeraCrypt, BitLocker, 7-Zip, Top Browser, File Vault 2, HTTPS Everywhere, CyberGhost, ExpressVPN, Symantec Endpoint Encryption, Xcrypt. So there are many softwares available which you can use for encrypting and decrypting. Okay, you are supposed to learn the various examples of the uh, this uh, softwares, various examples of language processors, various examples of utility softwares, then further uh, various examples of antivirus, various examples of encryption and decryption softwares, okay, then various examples of disk file, file management system. So softwares can name up for learn, karne hai. okay. हम सिमेंटेक भी है ना इंक्रिप्शन के लिए सिमेंटेक एंड पॉइंट इंक्रिप्शन ठीक है एनीबॉडी हु हैड यूज्ड एनी वन ऑफ दिस किसी ने इसमें से कुछ यूज करके देखा है मैम इंक्रिप्शन वाले हां जी इंक्रिप्शन और डिक्रिप्शन में यूटिलिटी सॉफ्टवेयर दे आर आल्सो कॉल्ड सर्विस प्रोग्राम और सर्विस रूटीन्स और यूटिलिटी रूटीन्स दीज आर द अदर नेम्स ऑफ यूटिलिटी सॉफ्टवेयर यू कैन अंडरलाइन इन योर बुक आल्सो सर्विस प्रोग्राम सर्विस रूटीन्स और टूल्स और यूटिलिटी रूटीन्स दीज आर स्पेसिफिकली डिजाइन टू हेल्प मैनेज एंड ट्यून द कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर एंड परफॉर्म अ सिंगल टास्क और स्मॉल रेंज ऑफ टास्क ठीक है सिंगल टास्क है भी फाइल मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम का एक ही टास्क है कि फाइल मैनेजमेंट करना है ओके नेक्स्ट इज यू आर हैविंग वेरियस अदर यूटिलिटीज लाइक बैकअप यूटिलिटी टेक्स्ट एडिटर यूटिलिटी डिस्क कंप्रेशन डिस्क फ्रेगमेंटेशन ऑल दीज आर द वेरियस एग्जांपल्स ऑफ यूटिलिटी प्रोग्राम्स यूटिलिटी प्रोग्राम आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड सर्विस प्रोग्राम और सर्विस और यूटिलिटी रूटीन्स क्लियर है यहाँ तक सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर सबको क्लियर है Any doubt? Only then I will start yes, with the application software. किसी को कोई doubt है? Okay, next we are having application software. These are the softwares which carry out the operations for a specific application. Like system software is a compulsory software. Application software totally depend on the user's requirement. कि whatever the user required, they can download, they can install that particular application software. to use for example <clears throat> if somebody is working in the designing field they will need the auto uh, photoshop or animate or any other type of software if somebody is working with the music or uh, audio and video editing field they will need the requires software required by them if anybody is dealing with the calculations they will need excel or calci if somebody is working in an office documentation purpose they will need ms word so whatever the requirement of the user according to that requirement the user will install particular type of application software because they are designed for carrying out a particular or specific application they are used to perform that specific task like railway reservation inventory control billing typing text editing calculation presentation graphic editing graphic creation multimedia so there are many types of application softwares available three categories of application software that is general purpose application software specific purpose application software and customized software all these are the three categories of application software general purpose application software means they are used to perform a broad variety of task and useful to the nearly all the computer users that means the software which can be used by any user whenever they require it it can be used it can be installed by anyone this is photoshop hai mujhe chahiye theek hai main use kar rahi hu photo editing ke liye chahiye agar suppose mujhe coral draw chahiye to that i can use it theek hai that means the softwares which can be used according to the requirement of the user like graph word processing graphic editing spreadsheet presentation anyone चाहे वो ऑफिस में काम कर रहा है वर्कर है चाहे वो आपका किसी 
बैंक में वर्क वर्क कर रहे हैं या वो किसी स्कूल में वर्क कर रहे हैं वेन एवर एनी यूजर नीड्स अ पर्टिकुलर टाइप ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर दे कैन यूज दैट जर्नल पर्पज एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर जो कॉमन कैटेगरीज आर वर्ड प्रोसेसिंग सेपरेट शीट डाटा बेस मैनेजमेंट ग्राफिक्स मल्टीमीडिया एंड प्रेजेंटेशन सॉफ्टवेयर दे कैन बी रिक्वायर्ड बाई एनी वन ठीक है दे कैन बी यूज बाई एनी वन नाउ स्पेसिफिक पर्पज एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर मीन्स दॉफ्टवेयर विच इज यूज ओनली फॉर वन स्पेसिफिक पर्पज एंड दे टारगेट ओनली वन टाइप ऑफ यूजर ओनली like railway reservation system they can be used only at the railway stations to book the tickets they cannot be used at the houses or they cannot be used at the banks we are just using the interface of the website but the software back end software which is working to book the tickets that is used only by the railway reservation system only by the authorities okay they are just providing us the interface to fill the details but the back end software is used by only the authorized persons सो रेलवे रिजर्वेशन सिस्टम हो गया बैंकिंग सिस्टम हो गया या लाइब्रेरी सिस्टम हो गया तो लाइब्रेरी सिस्टम कैन बी यूज ओनली इन द लाइब्रेरीज टू मेंटेन द रिकॉर्ड ऑफ बुक्स सो दैट इज अ स्पेसिफिक पर्पज एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर विच आर हैविंग अ स्पेसिफिक पर्पज एंड दे टारगेट ओनली अ स्पेसिफिक टाइप ऑफ यूजर ओके सो वी विल कंटिन्यू विद दीज टाइप ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर टूमोरो ऑल्सो फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्लास ऑल्सो ठीक है